Hey guys, and welcome back to Terra Tech with me, Tenzin. How are you guys doing today? I hope you guys are having a good day. I'm having a good day. Uh, so, in the last episode, we kind of talked about, or I showed you how I harvest. We talked about the base a little bit. Uh, and, you know, about, like, our future plans to finish all these quests and stuff like that. So, that's what we're going to do. T well, we're going to get ready to do this quest. Uh, oops this episode <laughs> so <clears throat> but we talked about how we were going to look at different um the different weapons and which ones are better or which one's better than the other so i built this little tech over here we have three identical you know uh i think it's what is that called the foundation block a fixed anchor sorry block and then one battery gso battery gso shield bubble and a solar panel so our objective per um one is not to destroy the the stand obviously but just to punch through see how many shots it takes to get through the shield bubble so we'll start with this i set up three just in case it takes a while for it to recharge i don't think it will but so we'll shoot from here at this first one this is the hawkeye cannon turret uh, let's just be 100%, you know, yeah, okay. All right, here we go. Let's see. Did that just pass right through? Because if it did... <laughs> yeah. I guess I should have thought this out, hey? Can't shoot your own stuff. Huh. That's kind of a bummer, hey? All right, well, we learned that now. <laughs> so... Um, well, that really sucks. I don't know how to be more uh, scientific about this. We're going to have to find bases, or maybe rocks, right? Or would each rock be the same? I don't think so. A harvestable rock versus a non-harvestable? I don't know. Okay, yeah, let's see. Just for funsies. One. Knocked five pieces out. So two shots with that one. Um, I don't want to drive all over the world for this stuff, so... Not to mention, we're not in, like, the safest place in the world, for some reason. <laughs> okay, so that was five, uh, two shots with that, uh, with the Hawkeye cannon turret uh we'll just go up here hit this block like look one two three you can see on the map just down here okay and there's obviously something on top of the hill here one two three four five six shots with the megaton cannon and that was a non-harvestable rock so, I would say the Hawkeye or hits, what is that, what did I say, six hits there? So, three times harder? Oh, that's nice, there's... Well, let's go get, we'll clean up this now. Um, I kind of, <laughs> I was kind of hoping to have, you know... Seeing what was better, you know, a little bit of time, or being able to actually test it out. He's not coming close, so... <sighs> Holy cow, they're just touching down everywhere around us. We... <laughs> did we pick this place on purpose, or what, eh? Um, well, we did pick it on purpose to go harvesting, but... Like, that's a lot of... A lot of guys have dropped down in the last couple of minutes. Um, oh, as you can see, we have a bankroll of one hundred thirty-two thousand dollars now. Um, oops, yeah, that's right. You have to switch techs. Or come on. Uh, so you can either double-click on a tech to switch to it, or you can actually right-click and then oh, you get this when you right-click. Or you just double click, but 
Anyways, um, oh, I lost my train of thought. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay, that's all set up. We're just gonna destroy this guy because guaranteed when I go to build the next vehicle, our next vehicle, he's gonna venture over and he's gonna cause problems. Like, we do have the tower to protect us, but... Hey, look at that, we got a trunk. So, let's see here. Yeah, kinda grabbed the stuff that was worth the money. Oops. The big boy wheels, I, so far, are the one thing that I found is, uh, they get you the most. The big boy wheels out of the GEO. And that is, what was there? Uh, $3,200. So, and we have quite a few of them. We'll probably, we'll keep some for now until we start massively harvesting, but we'll see. But all right, um, since the beginning of our episode didn't really go to plan, <laughs> let's hope the second part does. So I'll just cut to our next vehicle and I'll see you guys in a second. All right, and we're back. So this is the tank. I think it'll do us for finishing off the quests or yeah, hunting them down, finishing off the quest. Just getting ready to break down the tower. Uh, we'll just go over the tank really quickly. Um, Got two t cannons, uh, repeater rifles, two miniguns. I think it'll work good. Uh, what was it? The GEO, GEO batteries as usual. Um, the Hawkeye repair bubbles and the shield GSOs. But uh, it's kind of funny because I always start the building these tanks using the GEO big blocks. Like the where are they here? Like this, the the big one and the long block, and then I just slowly start removing them because I have to start hiding stuff because I don't like having the batteries out and just in the open and stuff like that. But it it works out pretty good. Um, yeah, and also I put two of the Hawkeye jet engines in the back here so we can get some pep. Well, let's see here. So if we take the AI unit off, throw it in there like that. Now if we grab... Nice! Okay, that's what I was wondering. Ooh, look at that tower just topple over, hey? <laughs> that's awesome. I didn't know if it would 100% destroy, like pull everything down, but that's perfect. Gotta collect it all now. Didn't think we were using that much, uh, that many blocks. So yeah, there's three... I think there's three batteries in here. Yeah, one, two, three. This one I originally had right here, but because of how it was sticking up, like these ones, I couldn't uh, put two cannons, uh, the cannon turrets side by side, so that was a no-go for me. Um, I don't know. I really like Hawkeye. I, like, their blocks are really nice and stuff, or really good. Oh, they're really nice too, but, um, oh, what's going on here? I can kind of hardly wait until we get to grade 5 with the GSO, because then we can buy all that, um, their armored plating and stuff like that. Because could you imagine taking your Hawkeye blocks, then putting the armor plating on from the GSO, <laughs> and then sending them to somebody's place to battle? Uh, let's change this a little bit. There we go. That's a little bit better. Um, okay. So should we work from... Actually, let's see. What do we got here? Oh, I'll just go to the first one and work away that way. What is going on here? Huh. Okay, we're going 44 miles per hour. Might have to put a couple extra jet engines on here. 
You know what we haven't tried is the tank treads in the mountains. Like how strong are they, I wonder? Can they can they climb the mountains as good as the GEO ones do? This is really weird. I almost feel like we're going slow. Huh. Oh, can't be going too slow. <laughs> Uh, since this is right here, this is obviously a quest that's probably up here somewhere, but, ooh. That's another thing, too, is that we might be getting overconfident with, um, the Hawkeye. The Hawkeye blocks because we're really not even dodging attacks anymore. We're just like, yeah, you know what? You're there. <laughs> At the same time, it's like, how? Oh, you know what we need to do? As soon as we get the block up, we'll, we'll put it on. Oh, you know what? Actually, we've used these cannons quite a bit. I'm gonna rip them off the front. I have. Something else I want to try with. Okay, you dead? Oh, okay, there we go. Okay, we're at grade 5 with the GSO now. <laughs> nice, okay, so... There are other blocks to be discovered still, okay. We now have the alti altimeter. Um, that... Yeah, the cow. Well, that didn't drop from the upgrade, but that's all right. Uh, but like I was saying I wanted to change something. <laughs> I'm so happy now. <laughs> but we haven't maxed them out, so I don't know. Maybe there's a grade six. No, because they said no. Uh, oh, I can't remember what that message just said now. It did say something about other ones being being able to be discovered, so... Yeah, I'm just gonna get rid of these really quickly. Uh, no. Uh, get out of my way. I want that back. I don't like that, uh... That battery showing its face. That's right. We're going with the rail guns. Right off the front. <laughs> Okay, that now that looks sick. Did they fix the animation? Yep. We're not getting that big red streak anymore. Perfect. Uh, we'll just grab that all up. Okay, so we still have We've Got Hostels. Uh, I don't know if we're... No, we're not slow. Uh, maybe it's because we're used to... Oh, we didn't even fly that many episodes either. I don't know. Uh, see, while we're waiting here, can we attach some rockets anywhere? Oh, yeah. Right there. Everything's done? Yeah. Okay. So, oh, there's another that just popped up right in front of us. Well, I don't, I can't say it's a quest, but it's just that it has a question mark. So it means eventually we will be coming back to this. Oh, I guess we should have uh, recharged the batteries, huh? Eh. Next time. <laughs> Come on. He's a little too close to the ground for the railguns to get him. Ooh, invader. Okay, we're setting up for this guy. Come on. There, we're parked relatively right on top of it. Problem is, we need to snap a block to it quickly. Come on.
We have 10 seconds. As long as we don't attack, we should be alright. Uh oh. <laughs> Shields are down already. Those railguns ripped right through him, didn't they? Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, that worked out perfect. Um, having to recharge and everything like that. Let's just see. How fast are we recharging? Fairly fast, but not fast enough. Okay, uh, come on. This, oh, I'm crazy. I was about to say, you know, this is why you need a second one, right? And we can play a leapfrog with it. <laughs> like, that works out awesome. If we had one more, we could go drive down there, do that, come back, grab all this stuff. They still gotta remember that you need to be a hoarder in this game. Like, even now when we have the ability, or, you know, we can buy all the blocks pretty much, we still have to worry about money. That's like, you know. So don't be afraid, just always constantly stop. I know it, it's, oh, there's a Hawkeye guy, we're going over there. But uh, it does suck having to stop and then wait for this thing to pop up all the time. It'd be in It'd be really, really nice if they made like a mobile one. Like maybe, maybe you had to stop just for a couple of seconds and then I'd pick everything up. But, oh yeah, now that was a shot, eh? <laughs> Hitchhiker is his name. Kind of like a spawn killing or whatever. <laughs> oh, there's another one. All right, let's keep it going. Oh, that that invader quest. I didn't even think about that. That actually was a giant plus for us. Due to the, uh, the the Hawkeye has a uh, invader hunter. We have three out of five now. Not even paying attention to what we're doing here. Okay. You know, I was gonna pick all this stuff up, but no, we're gonna move. We're going. We haven't even used our new jet engines yet. <laughs> so also I have to say, the reason I use the tank treads all the time is because literally, at the moment, they seem to be pretty much the best. We haven't had them complaining about being overloaded. Um, they have, we haven't gotten too stuck with them yet. And they're easy to, put together, right? Like, you can put row on top of row on top of row of them, side by side, so... Aren't these guys way out here? Hey, we have something out here, too. What did we leave out here, I wonder? Oh, quest, quest, okay. We gotta veer off to the right here? <laughs> Hopefully we can... I don't know if the railguns are like slightly cheating or what. Let's see. Let's see if we can aim without getting in that mortar range. No. Oh. Let's just get to the side of them. Oh, battery is low, so we're gonna have to recharge.
I guess putting playing with the rail or using the rail guns, it kind of makes it a little fair for the uh, computer because we're not, we have to kind of aim with them, right? Um, should we put this gas tank on us? <laughs> Actually, now that we are up and going, um, we have to charge, right? Uh, Mm -hmm. Actually, since we are down, let's go like this. We'll get rid of the rail guns now, and we will try something else in the front here. Um, uh, maybe we can put two more miniguns? I don't know. Yep. Okay, we'll try the miniguns. And, oh, and the miniguns work the same principle as the cannons, where they just can't be on the same plane. Um, so, all I had to do was, and it's only, like with the Hawkeye cannon turrets, it's too high. You have to make two blocks high before you can put another one above it and then obviously with the minigun it's only one high so you can actually but they still require actually the minigun's width is even wider than the missile turret or the cannon turrets oh uh, did that fill um okay well it didn't fill it but it gave us something Trying to think here. Put one there, one there. <laughs> Boom! Now at least we can get an extra 20k. The miniguns are a little intense. With their sound and stuff like that, it's kind of intimidating. Oh, nice! I didn't see the trading station right there. Uh, yeah, you guys are all dead. You're in my way. We just gotta be careful because we're almost out of um, battery power. The minigun's not too bad. It doesn't end them as fast as like the cannons do, but oh, of course now we're out of. See, but that's another thing with the minigun is that it's not accurate, accurate firing. It doesn't look like. There we go. Um, we have to set everything up. So I'm not gonna make you guys watch through. Ah, oh, come on. The night. So I'll we'll sit here. I'll switch out some weapons, recharge us, and then we'll continue onward. All right, see you guys in a second. All right, so <sighs> made it through the night, fully recharged. Went with the uh, repeater rifles and the venture long rifles. So let's see how that does. We can see our enemies in the. <laughs> oh man, there's a lot of them here. Um, well, let's just be smart about this. Take one of them on at a time. Nice. Love it when they're full of gasoline and batteries. <laughs> this guy doesn't stand a chance. Hardcore cabbie, that was his name. Hot Wheels is going down too. 
Okay. Oh, look at all those batteries. The Laugh Out Loud 976. I don't know what that is. It's just a cluster of guys here. Like, we have GEO, GSO, and they're both focus firing on us at the moment. There we go. Alright. Well, you know what? Just so this episode doesn't get super, super long, um, I think we'll leave it there, we'll end, or we'll end this episode here. Uh, yeah, we'll spend the next couple episodes finishing off these quests and seeing what we get when we max out uh, GSO. Or, we get to, yeah. See if we can get to GSO level 6 and see if they have new blocks for us. I haven't read up about it, so it'd be nice to find out without reading about it, you know what I mean? Anyways, <laughs> if you liked the episode, please leave a like, uh, leave a comment, and if you haven't already, please subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.